The kicker's got the ball set up, and we're ready to get this thing started. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. first down. But if this defense keeps taking chances with these blitzes, sure, they may get to the quarterback once in a while, but they also are giving up some big plays like that one right there. And they get the sack. The smart quarterbacks and offensive linemen have a really unique relationship. A quarterback should take care of his offensive linemen. But after that play and that hit, you really got to be wondering what kind of relationship this quarterback and his offensive linemen have after that. So the sack makes this a second and long. Got a man tackled for a loss. Number three makes the tackle at the 25-yard line. That'll bring up third and long. Throw it in a hurry. Tackle right around the 48-yard line. You know, they did a great job here of not just getting past the first down marker, but picking up some major yards on the play. He's wrapped up for the sack. That is a loss of five on the play. That'll bring up second and 15. From their own 47-yard line, it's second down. As a man, he'll lose big yards. Loss of six on the play. Third down. And he hits him hard at the 34 yard line. Loss of seven yards on the play. That makes it fourth and long. The sack makes this a fourth and very long. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. He fields a punt at the 20, and they push him out around the 33-yard line. The Tar Heels offense basically predicated on what this kid can do. The thing about, I love about this guy, Brad, is, is just the intangibles that he brings to the table. We've been seeing this guy make plays over the weeks, but the thing that I really recognize is his ability to really lead this football team. When things are going well, he's patting everybody on the back. When things are not going well, he's trying to pick them back up and getting them ready to go. So not only does he physically have the tools, but also I really love the way he approaches the game. Second and 10, ball on the 33. Hands it to the back. He gets hit out of bounds around the 50-yard line. And a six-yard pickup by the halfback on the delay. That'll make it second and four. Ready. Green and two. 
Pulls in the pass and steps out. So they gain six yards on the play and pick up the first down. Short throws like this are very effective because they tend to wear down the defense over the course of a game, especially when they get you a first down and keep the offense on the field. And the quarterback didn't waste any time getting rid of that one. He took the snap and he threw it right out there. Fires it out. And down he goes at the 34. That makes it second and six. He'll get it again. Nice run there as they work the outside. Up the middle for a nice game. They're eating up a lot of field on this drive. I'm really impressed with their ball control. And this play is number eight on the drive. He steps out at the 19. That's good for a gain of five yards. That'll make it second and four. Here we go! Just throws this one away. They're about four yards away here on third down. And he throws it away. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. And the field goal is good. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. <laughs> And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Tar Heels are right where they want to be early in this one, partner. Well, this is what their coach talked about, getting off to a great start. The defense did their job, and it's nice to see the offense move the ball down the field and also get some points on the board. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. He has some room. He's to the 40. Knocked out of bounds at the 47. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Seven yard line. He's scrambling. Very good tackle in space. The quarterback picked up a yard at best there on the scramble. And it's difficult to run on this defense when they put this kid up in the box. Gets out to about the 35-yard line. That's a gain of one on the play. That makes it third and seven. Four down, four down. Nine to five. He's tackled right around the 20. From the 20-yard line. First down. Fights forward to about the 20. He's gobbled up in the backfield. Super job here by the defense of filling the gaps on the line. If you keep stringing out plays like that, you can really shut an option attack down.
After a quarter of play, we've got a low-scoring defensive battle on our hands. The Tar Heels lead 3-0. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. Roger, Roger! Mike nine! Mike nine! Here we go, Blue Set! Blue set. Blue set. Blue set. Blue set. Quick pass, man open, and he dropped it. Number 25 was his intended receiver on the play. Fourth down. Fourth down. They'll call on the field goal unit here. Clemson is looking to tie things up. It's up. And they tack on three points. They line up to kick this one away. He just drills this one. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. Got a man, but he's tackled back behind the line of scrimmage. Drop back a yard. They really just didn't have any room to work on that play. The defense just suffocated them there. Makes the catch, and the defense is all over him. They bring him down for a loss. They lose three yards there. Really, they just had nowhere to go after the catch. From their own 21-yard line, it's third down. Quick throw. He's taken down at the 46-yard line. It definitely put them in better field position. And I just have a feeling that they're going to punch it into the end zone on this drive. He's pushed out of bounds at the 42. the stop around the 34 yard line. That's a game of eight on the play. First down. Mike 12, Mike 12. Check, check, red, 200 check, 200 check. They'll bring him down at about the 15 yard line. That's a game of 19 on the play. First down. Let's go deep. Catches it, and that's all. Number 12 makes the tackle at the 10 yard line. That brings him second and five. Mike 12. Check, check. Wide 80. Box 2. Wide. Box 2. 80. Touchdown, UNC. Tacks on the extra point. An eight play, 75 yard drive, and they put up seven points. An amazing drive for this offense, an outstanding execution. If you're the defense, you've got to do something to try to change things up to get this quarterback out of sync. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. it out to about the 49. It's great when a running attack comes through for the first down like this. It makes an offense so much more versatile. Nice 
you on there. They get four yards on the halfback option. That'll make it second and seven. Now he tries to buy some time, and he's taken down around the 42-yard line. Gain of five yards. That'll bring up 32. Has some daylight. Tackle made at the 32. Tackled right around the 32 yard line. No game. That makes it second and 10. From the 32 yard line, second down. Four down, four down. Mike Knight, hey, hey, hey. You got a shot. Yellow seven. Kill. Yellow seven. Ball seven. He's going to try and scramble. Tackle at about the 29-yard line. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. That's a nice run, but it's short of the first down. Good play by the defense to stop him just short. So it's fourth down. They're going to try a long field goal here. Kicks away, and it's good! Yeah, he got some good leg behind it, and he kicked an accurate ball right between the goalposts. 10-6, North Carolina. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. This offense did really well with the air attack on their last trip out there. Let's see if they can do the same thing here. You know, when this defense went over to the sideline based on the way they've been playing so far, this defense coordinator has got to be living. He's got to get in their face. He's got to challenge them. He's got to get their emotions going. Because when you play defense, it's not just about X's and O's. It's about attitude and playing with a lot of confidence. From their own 25-yard line, second down, North Carolina is up four. And he's going to lose big yardage. He's tackled immediately after the catch. They're stopped for a five-yard loss. This defense is fast enough that they can create negative yards on completed passes. So the offense might want to consider that next time they try that play. He makes his way to about the 32. Just a good showing on all three downs by the defense. That should fire him up. The defense looks like they're going to send in the cavalry on this one. He really got a hold of that one. Right now, this game's got all the makings of maybe being a nail biter. Yeah, this game just feels like it's going to go well into the second half, probably into the fourth quarter. You almost have a feel that maybe one of the defenses may have to score a touchdown to be able to win this game. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Five wide. And he just gets rid of it. From their own 31-yard line, it's second down. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Slings it. And down he goes at the 43-yard line. They'll spread the field with five wide. He sails it long. Complete. It's the junior brought down around the 12 yard line. He's tackled at the two yard line. That'll make it second and inches. The 
come out in a five wide set. Got him over the middle, touchdown. And a nice catch by the receiver for the touchdown. Anytime you're near the red zone, you gotta keep an eye for this guy. They love going to him down here. Brad, the wide receiver was the key here. He did a really good job of working that route to the middle of the field for the post. But before he got to the post, he kind of looked off the defender to the outside and then moved back to the middle of the field. And the quarterback recognized the big hole in the defense and made the throw for the touchdown. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Straight ahead on the give, and there's nowhere to run. More plays like this, and the coaching staff is going to need to change up the blocking scheme. You can't allow the defense to play in your backfield. It's second and 11. Ball on their own 24. It's halftime, and we've got a close one. 13-10, Clemson. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. This is Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. Maybe the most important statistic from the first half, no turnovers for either team. So far, a good job of ball security, but now you wonder if the quarterbacks can avoid putting the ball in jeopardy. They're going to want to make a big play, and that might sort of set off a feeding frenzy on the defensive side. Yeah, and it's in, in defenses, that's the number one priority. I mean, you can give up a lot of yards. You could, They can chew up yards up and down the field, but if you can force turnovers, then you're keeping them off the scoreboard, and, and that's your number one goal. So I... Defenses, they, they have to be a little bit upset right now, and they got to try to find ways to, to hit harder. How about when you're tackling? Use the strip stick. You know, be able to strip the ball out, get the ball out, try to get some interceptions, try to make some user picks. You know, do whatever you can to try to get the football back from that offense and set your offense up in good field position. David's ready to get back on that couch, get the remote, get all the games dialed up to watch what's going on around the country. Time to get you back for your second half. Brad and Kirk, ready to roll. Welcome back to the action. Second half just about set to begin. We got a tight game here. He sends this one deep. And they can forget about returning this one. The Tigers continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Quickly, and he's got his man, and he is drilled at the 28-yard line. So it's complete, but they didn't get much there. And that's because the defense was just waiting on it, and they attacked. The quarterback should have found somebody else downfield. Throwing right. Oh, boy, almost intercepted. How did he drop that? The defender did everything that he needs to do. He read the play perfectly, stepped up, and what does he do? Drops the interception. Boy, the offense caught a break there. He's taken down around the 31-yard line. And this one is a beauty. Brought down at the 21-yard line. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. Clemson has a three-point lead. He's on the run. Now he's going to run and watch out. Slides down. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. The defense was able to get really good penetration and drop him short of the line of scrimmage. Hey, we got a steal. We got a steal. 
They bring him down in the backfield. Loss of four on the play. That'll bring up fourth and nine. And watch out, they're going to bring the heat right here. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. He's tackled in the open field. Tackled after a decent pickup. So they get five yards there on the halfback draw. Third down. Three down, three down. Mike 12. Mike 12. Check, check. White and Ray. White Ray. And they got him. I mean, it's an offensive lineman. This is the worst thing that you want to see. Is your quarterback not only getting sacked, but getting hit like that. Those linemen better pick that quarterback up and start doing a better job of taking care of him. Booming kick. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. The Tar Heels have really surprised everybody in this football game. They have not been intimidated at all, which is great to see. The attitude and effort of this team has put them in a position where they got a shot to win this game here in the second half. So they're just about set to get the game going again. Clemson holds a field goal lead. Gains his way to the 29-yard line. for a loss. Nowhere to go for the halfback. That's a loss of one. Quick throw to the back. It's incomplete. That'll make it fourth and two. These special teams have done it before, blocking punts. It looks like they're coming after this one. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. Oh, what a hit. So he managed to get a few yards on the run back. Yeah, but I'll tell you, Brad, with so much traffic in the middle there, it really makes it tough to break free. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense, as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. There's a strike complete, and they make the stop at the 32-yard line. That play was going nowhere. Yeah, give a lot of credit to the defense here, recognizing pass and swarming to the receiver. He's into the open field. Gains his way to the 46-yard line. That makes it first and 10. Takes a hand up, but brought down before he could go anywhere. Up the middle for a nice game. Looks like they're going to go for it on fourth down. They're all tied in on the line here on fourth and short. He makes it out to maybe the 43 yard line. That's good for a game of three yards. First down. Mike 12, Mike 12. Green 
Throws it in a hurry. That makes it second and eight. Steps up. He's going to go for the home run. Nice grab on the play. Huge gain, and that sets him up nicely with a first and goal. It's been a defensive masterpiece through three. Who'll draw up points in the final quarter? The Tigers with a three-point lead. Back to the action here. Tight ball game in the fourth quarter. Taken down at the two. Touchdown, and that's going to give him the lead. the extra point. North Carolina is lining up to kick this one off. Excellent kick. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. I love the competitive spirit that we're seeing out on this field today. It looks like one team has the upper hand, and then the other comes right back in to be able to regain the lead. It's going to be an exciting finish. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. He's to the 40. He gets it out to about the 47-yard line. Take him down immediately. Pulls it in and he's in the open field. Spectacular play and now it's first and goal. And he gets a yard on the run. You have to like how this linebacker was able to move up quickly and bring down the ball carrier for a short gain. Nice stop by the junior. So here it is. Crucial third down as they try to take the lead. to his back, and he's got him again. Unable to pick up the first down, and the ball will change hands. This time, the offense isn't successful on fourth down. The defense had that option play snuffed out from the get-go. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. North Carolina is up by four. Makes it to the 21. That makes it first and 10. And they get nice yardage on that run. That's a game of six on the board. 
That'll make it second and four. Close the mic. Set to right, 80. Back down. Why? Back down. 80. Nice run to the outside. Oh, makes the tackle. Gain of six, six yards. yards. First, First down. Right, right, right. Four down, four down. Hey, watch number five. Number check, five. check. Green nine, 19. 200, check. 200, check. Tackle made right around the 36 yard line. Gain of three yards. That'll make it second and seven. The defense burns a timeout here in an attempt to stall this no huddle attack. They're about four yards away here on third down. Out to the tailback, and he dropped it. Number 15 was his intended receiver on the play. That makes it fourth and four. Oh, excellent punt. He's got the corner from the 15. Tackle made at the 28. Clemson's been unable to really show that they're the team to beat here, but it looks like they're going to get another chance at it. Well, it's now or never. This team has put themselves in a position where they have to hope for some heroics late. It's because they played sloppy most of the game. They're very fortunate they still have a chance to be able to win this game. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. He scrambles. Runs with it, and he's got room. And he's tackled around the 38-yard line. With a quick throw. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. the 44-yard line. First down. Delivers to the halfback on the screen. The quarterback and his receiver make a great play here and convert on an early down. That makes it second and two. the 27-yard line. Quick throw. Knocked out of bounds at the 19. It's second down now. They're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Just gets rid of it. Tight end right. Tight end right. Four down, four down. Mike nine, Mike nine. Hey, we got we got yeah. Green eight. Motion, motion. Green eight. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. at the two-yard line. Brad, you just don't see this very often anymore in college football. That is their fifth first down on this drive alone. They have great rhythm right now as an offense. And look at that poor defense. They're looking over to the sidelines to the defense. Touchdown! And now they're in front. Trying to go up by three, they'll kick the extra point. And he converts the extra point. 
So a nine play 72 yard drive and that's good for a touchdown. Brad I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. North Carolina's coaches have got to be confident in the fact that they've got a star player in a tight situation. And there's nothing better than having a quarterback you have confidence in in these kind of situations. You know he's going to make the right read. He's going to give his receivers a chance to make a play on the ball. And they're going to have a really good chance of moving the ball down the field to have a shot to win this game. Here comes the pressure, and they got him. The protection broke down. The defense was in the backfield in a hurry, and they brought the quarterback down. Nice play. So that sack sets him back a little bit now. They're looking at second and 13. Caught open field. He goes out of bounds around the 30-yard line. That'll make it 35. They'll line up with five wide receivers. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. The Tar Heels are going to call their second timeout. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 40. Under a minute left. Let's go. He goes downtown. It's the sophomore that's got it. North Carolina's star is shining as brightly as he ever has. It is fun to watch a quarterback do all the preparation, all the work that he needs to be able to do to put himself in a position to mentally and physically have a shot to win the game for his team. And that's exactly what we just saw. He splits the uprights with the extra point. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Well, this sets up the drama here in the fourth quarter. They've got the opportunity they've been looking for, an opportunity to take the lead and the win. Steps up in the pocket and sacked. That's a loss of six yards. Check three, check three. That'll make it second and one. And he stops the clock with a spike. If there was ever a time that this offense could use a miracle, it would be right now. It's third down, and they've got a long ways to go to get the first. He's under pressure. He passes it. Picked off, and that'll seal it up. He's at the 40. Inside the 30. He's tackled around the 26-yard line. Oh, no, they really didn't need that. And as a quarterback, you can't give up an interception late in the game. you got to be more careful with the football. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. And he'll just take a knee here to kill the clock. The Tigers using their third and final timeout. North Carolina is up four. Favorite play in football if you're a quarterback. Take a knee. And so that's going to do it. Our final score in this one, 24-20, North Carolina. Tigers. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit, this is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.